The man who set himself on fire taken to the hospital in critical condition. Police say he arrived in the city from Florida earlier this week. Now this all happening just outside the very same courthouse where the jury had just been seated in Donald Trump's hush money case, but it's unclear at this time if that is why the man was there. We have a team of reporters stationed at the courthouse throughout the day. Linda Schmidt will have the latest on Trump's case, but first we're going to go to Jessica Formoso with more on what happened outside of court. Jessica. Teresa and Chris, what played out here this afternoon was disturbing and horrifying for those who had to witness such an act. This is an ongoing investigation at this hour. I'm going to have Roy, my photographer, um, zoom in to show you what is happening here. You can still see that canister here and his clothing still on the ground. The investigation is in its, in its early stages, but police sources telling us he wrote a manifesto before he set himself on fire. In that manifesto, he says his name and that he's an investigative researcher who has set himself on fire fire outside of Trump trial in Manhattan and that he did it as an act of protest. Police have identified him as Max Azzarello of Florida. He says um, they say he arrived here in New York earlier this week. Now take a look at this video. We warn you it is graphic so we had to freeze it. Police say he walked into the park with a backpack. He opened it up and threw pamphlets up in the air. He then is seen pouring a canister of some sort of flammable liquid on himself and then he sets himself on fire. Fire. Azzarello is engulfed in flames that witnesses are screaming, watching in horror. NYPD caught officers and EMS rushed to the park. A fire extinguisher is used. He was immediately taken to the hospital and is listed in very critical condition. Authorities don't believe he will survive. Police say he's a conspiracy theorist. We do not believe he is. Uh, this was targeting any particular person or any particular group. We just right now labeling it as a sort of a conspiracy theorist and we're going from there but the investigation will continue of course we're going to review our security protocols uh this gentleman did not breach the uh, security protocols the park was open to the public but of course we're going to look at everything and with the magnitude of what's going on around right here we'll reassess our security with our federal partners as you imagine, with the Trump trial underway across the street at criminal court, this area is packed with people. Some say they have seen Azarello before and tell us he's been at this park for days talking politics and about conspiracy theories. There's a lot of folks out here who witnessed everything and watched in disbelief. Take a listen. He reached down and got like a, a big can, which apparently was propelled, and doused himself in and threw his flyers. And then he got the second cannon and, and yelled at me to run away, get away, and, and let himself on fire. I, did, I didn't know what to do. As he doused, doused himself with gasoline, as it became apparent that this might be a dangerous situation, we basically all started to run away from him. And I didn't think it was real, but at the same time, I was yelling to police and people outside of the park that this guy might do something, like something's happening here. The flames were just so great off of his body that really, like, nobody could douse him with a jacket or anything and make any, any real difference. And this is a photo of Azarello uh, that we obtained from social media. Police say that he con they have contacted his uh, family in Florida, um, and the family had no idea that he was here in New York City. But again, you guys are taking a live look now at the crime scene. Investigators combing through the entire park, trying to piece all this together. And of course, now they want answers to as to why he did this. Of course, this is the latest we have from outside of criminal court. I'm Jessica Formoso, Fox 5 News. Back to both of you inside. All right, Jessica, thank you.